celebrating our treasure of natural wonders, California Nature on the Air. Black-tailed deer exist in a variety of habitats. They thrive in open landscapes. Because they can eat a wide variety of foods, they are quite adaptable. And they form these small herds that actually define territory. So unlike some other species of deer, they don't migrate. The ones that you'll see in your yard one year are exactly the same individuals that you'll see the following year in the same location. These black-tailed deer occupy a 100-mile wide band that goes from Santa Barbara all the way up to just over the border into the Queen Charlotte Islands in Canada. One reason the deer are so successful is because they're browsers. And what I mean by browsers is that they eat almost any kind of vegetation, from small trees to bushes to grasses. They're opportunistic feeders, and so they can occupy a wide variety of habitats successfully. These animals are called black-tailed deers because, guess what? They have a black tail, at least on this side. However, when they're alarmed, they raise them up like this, and it's wide underneath this way, and they are high-tailing it away. The other animals in the herd can see this and know there may be a potential predator nearby, and so they all flee. The male deer have what we call antlers, and these are appendages that grow off the top of their head. And these prove to other animals nearby that not only was that deer able to secure enough nutrients to survive this hostile environment, but they could take those extra nutrients and put them on top of their head and create these appendages that have no other reason but to say, I'm one tough dude. And so it's something that the females use to judge and assess the quality of the males. The deer, in general, might appear to be quite peaceful in a bucolic setting. However, do not mess with mama deer. During the rut, male deer can also be somewhat aggressive, so you've got to watch them as well. And as with any wild animal, please be careful around deer. Don't attempt to feed them. They can get by without your help. Anytime a large mammal can survive, even thrive amidst the kind of large-scale changes we've wrought across the landscape, it warms my heart.